Wow. Part three of the Hildebrand question, my guys. Can't believe it. Still got part three of a mystery. We still got to solve the mystery of the duelist who's stealing a bunch of stuff. And who knows? Maybe we'll be able to solve this mystery. Although, since this is part three, I wonder if there's going to be any surprises. Who's that in my bathroom? Is that May from Hardest Reset? Yay! Whoa, May, get on over here. Dude, like, holy shit, you're here. Are you going to be a part of part three? Oh. Bye. Bye. Thanks for buying them. You're the best. <laughs> Previously on the Hildebrand Quest, a mild concussion will not sway Inspector Hildebrand from his true calling. You're looking for a half-naked Highlander one likes to catch criminals? What did you do to check this man to make sure he wasn't a zombie? There's sure a lot of giant crates in all the- Oh. My fucking god. You would be willing to share such precious information with me? Where are the bloody hells do you think you're going? I haven't even told you anything yet. <sighs> I suppose since you're the imbecile's friend, you intend to help him. The man you want to find is an adventurer named Humphrey. At present, he can be found at the Golden Bazaar. With luck, and the good inspector may find his way there in time. Of, uh, in, by the time you arrive. If not, then so be it. Haha, ha. I wonder what would happen if he discovers the victim's perpetrator as well. Humphrey, my guy. I, hey, uh, hey, I'm Humphrey. Aha, uh -huh. huff puff, at last, I've caught up with you. You there, young sir, I am told you are a victim of a maldering duelist. A marauder, a Bucket hooked on phonics, works for rent. Me, a victim? <laughs> How amusing, you amuse me. True, I was challenged by the duelist not long ago, but where he thought to find, well, but where he thought to find a, whelp, I found a warrior light instead. Hey, I defended my honor and my blade. See you for yourself. Oh, you mean you won't? Oh, you mean you won? That's amazing. Well, it was nothing compared to what I faced. Oh, no. Oh, God. He's going on and on. Sorry, Humphrey. No one cares about your war story. This man is no warrior of light. Tell him, Elazar. Tell him how he lost and surrendered a sword and was not his own. Liar. Scoundrel. I trusted that bastard with my father, with me father's blade. Bid him take it to a smithy for restoration. Even gave him guilt to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back, sniveling and begging for forgiveness as he lost it in a duel. As if that's enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding whore son. Look at me. Me flowing golden locks are no more. I've gone bald from the stress and heartbreak. Oh, Miss Benson Page, this is so beautiful. I swear to everything holy that you'll face a reckoning that you'll face a reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. Oh god oh boy oh god oh boy. <laughs> alright, alright. He beat the shite out of me and took the old man's sword. I used the gill to pay the uh cheery ungeon. Whatever words are. I have no idea where he or this sword is. What am I supposed to do, huh? I can't give him what I don't have. Unless, unless you help me find the sword. That's where you do, right? Help people? Have you no shame? First you claim a legacy not your own. And then you beg other men to help you with your problems of your own making. You will refuse this man, won't you, Inspector? He's going to accept him. And what of, Il uh, what of Elizar's flowing golden locks? How will forsaking young Humphrey help the man he's wronged? We shall begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of the Golden Bazaar. He really is a gentleman. Antique sword? Oh, I have the foggiest about. That traveling merchant, Jojonpa, is the one who you ought to speak with, assuming he hasn't left. Jojonpa? That boy should be ashamed of <laughs> That boy should be ashamed of himself. Robbing poor Elazar of a priceless family heirloom. This goes to show how you should never trust an adventurer who claims to be a warrior of light. Thieves and tricksters, the lot of them. It may not be the most honorable solution, but mayhap you should consider giving Elysian a counterfeit blade. <laughs> if the deception brings him peace in his final days, would it be so wrong? 
Listen here, you dumb fucking Lollafell. Fucking listen here, my guy. That is not the solution. We find the sword, you fucking greedy fuck. Fuck you, Lululo. Elizar's sword? Wasn't much to look at, but at least it was authentic. More than a collector's... More than a few collectors have been tricked into purchasing counterfeit relics. That's literally all we've got. Okay, well... Well, alright. Here... Hey, hold, hold on for a second. Hey! Hey, fuckheads! C can you... Do you mind? I'm trying to help a guy find his sword. Stop it. Oh, I'm gonna say we're not to do this. Fucking fate. Finally. Now that that ruckus is taken care of, John John Pa. Jojo Pa. Jo John Pa. Whatever the fuck your name is. Dirty Lollafell. I He just shows up. Has he realized? Okay, no, no, no. Hildebrand. Hildebrand. My dude. My guy. My man. Listen. I, do you have a change of clothes? Please, for the love of Christ, put on a change of fucking clothes. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of, or no knowledge of an ancient sword, at least not one that I can guarantee to be authentic. You see, anywhere I determined to be dubious origins, I immediately discard in the spring east, or in the spring east of Camp Drybone. Although I have no sword for sale at the present, I may have disposed of the face smells similar to the design one that you described. This presents a quandary, though I loathe to deceive. An honorable man like Elazar, a well in uh, well in uh, a well intentioned ruse may put his heart at ease, thus spurring the rejuvenation of his flowing golden locks whilst we continue to search for the genuine article. What the actual fuck killed around? Well, there is a sword in that spring. It won't remain there for long. One of the more one of the more uh convenient sources of fresh water uh for the common folk in Cam Drybone. Tisk tisk, you should endeavor yeah, you should endeavor to be more optimistic, Miss Ellie. And like me, uh, I say we search this spring first before declaring all to be lost. All right. We're going to the fucking lake. It occurs to me that I have not yet fully recovered from my acclimated injuries. I would not be prudent to immerse in a body of water. <laughs> not without first coating it in liberal applications of salamander oil. That is, indeed, on many occasions, my dearest mother tended to my childhood scrapes just so. You understand the importance of physical rehabilitation, yes? That you can assist me by pouring oil all over my body. Yep. That's how we're going to get this old man's sword back. By rubbing oil all over a fucking beefcake's body. Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Thanks, boo. He fucking sneezed. Ah, this comforting scent. As though I'm a child in her arms. Quickly now, before it dries. Knead the oil into my arc or aching flesh. What? Oh my god. Oh. Ah, oh, the god, the pain multiplies manifold. Gently now, gently. Massage Hildebrand again. What? This is literally a part of the fucking quest. Oh gods, oh gods, oh gods. Yes, at last, my muscles slacken and soften. The warmth spreads and the pain becomes pleasure. Oh boy! He's doing the fucking he's doing the fucking fucking Final Fantasy VII squats. Go, boo the goo boo! Look at him, buddy! Fucking fucking look at him! Massage him again? Oh, right there. Yes, keep doing that. Just like that. Just like groans. Yes. Now once more with feeling. I'm gonna make this dude come. I want to make this dude fucking shoot jizz out his fucking peephole. Out his fucking peepee -pee hole. Fucking jizz. This whole pond's going to be fucking jizz fucking river. I swear to God, guys, I'm funny. <laughs> ah, never before have I ever seen such splendid ministrations. Now then, into the spring. You as well, my good man. This guy. This man. This man. This man right here. Right fucking here. We just fucking made him jizz him in his pantyhose. Fuck, this quest is the best fucking quest. Like, I can't. Comedy is just too good. Holy pot. A, a holy pot. Okay. Muddy bottle. A muddy pebble. None of this is stuff we need to find. Present your findings to Hildebrand. You've been productive. Excellent. May I see what you found? 
It's all garbage. It's all garbage. No sign of the sword he mentioned. I see. She. Ah! Now I'm all wet. What was that anyway? Hmm. Did something cause you to... No, go back. No, the sword is there. No, 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 go back. The sword is there. Oh, please tell me they're going back. Inspector, it is bad for your health to conduct investigation in these clothes. I'll go to Old and fetch you some new one. Finally! There we go. We are finally going to get the fucking clothes. How thoughtful of you, Nashu. While you're there, purchase a few bottles of hair tonic for Elazar as well. The newest, most potent blend you can find. Is it not wonderful, my friend? Sue, all of Elazar's woes will be no more. He's so fucking fixated on the goddamn hair. He really fucking is at this point. Holy shit. As promised, I return you your father's ancient blade. Aye, it is her. Every chip and scratch just as I remember. Gods bless ye, sir. I never expected you would go to such lengths for two strangers without a thought of reward. Altruism is a rare trait these days. Tis common enough if you know where to look. A gentleman recognizes the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. Except for the bitch boy behind me. Spoken like a true gentleman. Though your garments beg to differ. Inspector, I've brought your change of clothing. I also prepared a supply of tonic from this peddler I met in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. If you would bring the, if you would bring me that case, oh man, just fucking douse this motherfucker in it. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. What? What? It appears to be something lodged lodged on my forehead. Could it be a missive from an adoring admirer? He's not, he's not even, he's not even reacting to the card that's stuck in his fucking forehead. Whom the author neglects to pen her name. Sh I shall come to claim the collector's blade. Is, is that supposed to be flattering? No, you. It's supposed to be intimidating. The duelist wrote this. He's daring you to stop him. It literally just got thrown right into his fucking head. What is the... A challenge for me? Oh, at last, the curtain rises. The curtain rises. Very well. If I am to duel the duelist, I must dress for the occasion. Oh, what's going to happen? What? <laughs> So majestic, just like a warrior fight. <laughs> what? What is this? No, a gentleman of life. <laughs> what? What? The actual. He's exceptionally so. <laughs> oh, oh. Core Inspector Hildebrand, you look at me. Oh. And his hair's back! Yeah, boys! <laughs> oh. Hildebrand. <laughs> oh, fuck. I know we're gonna end it on the duel, but I don't. Oh. Oh, my fucking god. That was incredible. Oh, I'm still crying. Oh. Well, he's fucking dead. This is far from the strongest of swords. 
blue, blue skies and the rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the Blade of Legend? Oh. Well. This is happening. That fucking happened. Oh. Challenge accepted, my worthy opponent. You shall cl claim my blade with my... Let's just call it genius. I shall bring you to justice. Wait, you wish to duel with the weapon, not wits? This bridge hardly seems appropriate for such an epic battle. The Th Hildebrand will return in the Threes Collector. Ugh! If you were to tell me that was going to happen in this whole fucking recording block over three fucking videos, I would have not have fucking believed you, my dudes. But god damn it. That was incredible. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is... That was a trilogy of a lifetime. Oh my god. That was mind-blowing and incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching this trilogy of videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. I actually, at the beginning of recording this, didn't think it would even be more than just one video. But it ended up being three fucking videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more of Hildebrand, let me know. I may, after the trilogy comes out, end up streaming more of Hildebrand and maybe edit it down as well. Who knows? But until then, if you liked this kind of content, let me know. Love you all. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll catch you guys next Saturday for a brand new video. So until then.